Hello everyone, this is the Picky Gamer here, and I'm just going to talk about the stuff that I've seen so far from Nintendo's Treehouse at E3. They're live at E3. So anyways, we got two things going on here. And on the one hand, we got Legacy, Legacy? Wow. Legend of Zelda, Breath of Wind. Or was it Breath of Wind? Well... It was something dealing with wind. As you can see, I'm intrigued by it, but sadly, I'm not sold on it. That's one thing about when it comes to Zelda games. I'm not sold on it because I kind of got a hatred for Zelda games. So that means like, for instance, going out yard selling or even pawn shops and I see a Zelda game and it's $1 or something in it's good condition. You know, for a fact, it's on a chopping block of getting sold and getting a lot of money out of it. Yep, I wouldn't actually keep it because Zelda games are pretty jerk to me. The only ones that's not jerks to me is the Toon Link. So as you can see, it's not Toon Link. It actually is the main serious Link. So with all that said, that's all I'm going to have to say is it looks intriguing. But since it's not Toon Link, I'm going to have to pass. But I, I think it's good. It's going to be a good game. Now we're on to the interesting part. And most likely I'll have to do something else on the other channel. But anyways, we're now at Pokemon Sun and Moon. First things first is that the footage they showed us at first was nothing. And then they started talking. Sadly, I'm sorry to say this, but maybe I have a bias or something. But I think the girl sucks. She really, really sucks. I don't really like having the girl talk but anyways i guess the real reason is because she's just like misty she always picks the water type pokemon and let me tell you it's really a letdown i mean i was a water type pokemon at first water type trainer at first i mean i always enjoyed the first three and then piplock was a letdown Oshawott, well, his fall form was a letdown. And then now you have the newest one, which is, what was the newest one? Oh my gosh, what's the newest one? Come on. The newest one is, I forgot what the newest one is. Oh my gosh, I forgot what the newest one is. I think the newest one is good because I didn't actually pick the grass starter. The grass starter was a crap. Yeah, it was the one that I craply said, no thanks, I don't want to. I'm trying to remember what was the water type Pokemon and it's too bad. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I suck. But anyways, sadly, being a water trainer, you suck. You kind of suck at times. But of course, grass trainers get worse and et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, so what we found is that there's some new music. That's cool. We got to see some new two Pokemon, even though we already saw um, P Piki Peak. Peaky Peck, you know, anyways, that's number 10. That's basically the generic flying type. So when it comes to you not picking Roulette, I think that was his name, then you'll have this guy you could actually choose. And interesting about him is that he's a woodpecker and he's able to do 16 pecks per second. Yeah, he's a fast fighter. I bet Ash would definitely have him on his team. Of course he would. I mean, of course he would. Of course he would. Yeah, anyways, besides that, we got the real new person, which is Young Goose. And Young Goose is always hungry, and he's a very aggressive when he is hungry. So I don't know if basically more feeding the Pokemon is into play here. I kind of hope it is, but kind of hope it doesn't because I don't really like it. The whole idea of maybe hunger will be a part of the Pokemon game now. But of course, I would say let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, so we got that. Um, she cut me off. Yeah, she slash they cut me off when I was trying to find out what number it is in the Pokedex. So I don't really know, but I would guess by thought either A, it will be 14 or B, 13. It depends. I don't even know if the woodpecker would actually evolve with three of all two of all forms and he has a three evolved form stage or two like Firo. I don't know. With that said, we also have Ladybug. Ladybug is in the game and it's number 20. We also have um yeah, Caterpie, but sadly they didn't see it in the wild, so I don't know what number it is, but it's somewhere around there. 
And well, one thing you need to know is that the Pokemon are more lively. Apparently with the starters, definitely they made all the ones that are like level one of the starting point of evolving Pokemon. Very, very cute that they're so cute. You want to actually hug them from your screen. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Trainers can move as well. Finally, trainers can actually move instead of just being standing still. So that's good. Not only that, but you can actually see the trainer in the background, which is awesome. Now, the best part about this is if they actually made it to the point of, of course, no one does it. Of course you don't. But if you throw a Pokeball trying to catch a Pokemon, it will be cool if they actually show their hand smack it away. I would love to actually just see a hand smack it away or they catch the Pokeball and toss it and say, no, that's not how we do things. You do not steal. That would be something cool to actually see. That would be awesome. But anyways, Pichu's there. Pikachu's there. They're always there except for Unova. Yep, that's that's basically it. Yeah, always there except for Unova. So we got to see a festival and the festival is just like what they do in Hawaii. So... Yeah, that's one thing interesting, and it's basically beginning our battle, I mean, our journey. So we get to go against our rival, which somehow he has a Pichu and a starter Pokemon. But I'm not sure if it changes if you don't pick the same Pokemon. Because, well, for their demo, they decided to pick the worst one you can choose, the water type. No offense to anyone who loves that guy, but yeah, no, and that's for the girl. I take offense, yeah. Yeah, be offended. <laughs> I don't like you. I'm sorry. I just don't like you. You you, you seem kind of bland. I'm sorry, but you seem kind of bland when you were talking. I'd rather actually have the guy who was playing the game talk than you. I mean, sorry, sorry. All right, tangent. Well, anyways, so we got the Pokedex that came in a way, and the Pokedex actually was very informative, it turns out, because after every single battle, you go against the same Pokemon. For like, For instance... Every time I went against Wind Go in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, your Pokedex will actually tell you ways of how to defeat it very quickly. What's more effective moves that you can actually have or you have that you don't really use against it, which that's cool. And of course, we have this new interesting thing that they showed us, which is none other than shut up you over there. The new gameplay mode, which is called Battle Royal or Battle Royale. I don't know. I mean, it could be Battle Royal, but they're just saying Battle Royale, or it could actually just be Battle Royal, and they're, I don't know. Maybe they forgot the E to add on it, or sadly, our English in the whole language is really going to sh Either way, so we got four players going in all together, one-on-one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one -on -one. They all get to have three Pokemon, and the first person who gets defeated ends the whole entire thing. Yeah, so the first person who gets defeated, all three Pokemon are knocked out, it ends the whole thing. But we find out how you win by getting the higher number in points of either taking out a person's Pokemon or just the fact of doing some interesting stuff. I don't remember the other part. But anyways, yeah, that's mostly the big part of it. And they're now starting with Legends of Zelda, and the guy actually shows up. This, this is a different guy. That's good. We'll see what happens here. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to just watch this. I'm not going to do any coverage on Legend of Zelda because it's not one that I'm fancy with. So anyways, thank you for watching and make sure you check out E3. You most likely will have it. And if lucky enough, I'll maybe even have the link down below so you can see the whole entire thing for yourself. Or most likely they'll cut it in bits. I don't know, but thank you for watching.